I feel like the word stir fry for beginners or even experienced home cooks can be intimidating, especially if you've been to like an hibachi where you see that amazing flick of the wrist and fire going everywhere. Seeing that as how you stir fry something, your chances of trying it at home have significantly reduced or you're really excited to go home and catch something on fire. The good news, a lot of this you can replicate in your kitchen with similar results. So you don't need to purchase a giant wok, use like incredible high heat, or even learn to toss something in the air as high as you can. While these tools and skills are extremely helpful, you can build the foundational principles under less stressful circumstances. Today's cashew meal is a model of the classic takeout dish and how you can make it easy and healthy with more protein right at home. Starting with tofu, which is our main source of protein. I use super firm, which has the most resistance out of the tofu firmness family. In this recipe, we play with tofu quite a few times. Therefore, if your tofu is too soft, maybe like medium firm tofu, you may wanna be very careful as you risk crumbling it. If you didn't wanna use tofu, you have Two main options. One is to swap the tofu with something else, like store-bought plant chicken or seitan, or tofu made with something else like pepitas. Option two would be to leave it out. While this would lower the protein value of the dish, it is still packed with a bunch of nutrition that's gonna help you feel satiated. The cornstarch we use to give the tofu that crisp could be swapped with most flours, all-purpose, rice flour, potato starch, just to name a few. Within the recipe, we're gonna shallow fry, which is part of the method used in stir frying, where you use the small amount of oil while you stir the ingredients. So using a large skillet, preferably with high walls, is great at aiding the containment of everything you're gonna be putting in. If I had to eat one green for the rest of my life, I'm pretty sure it would be broccoli, I think. I really hope I never have to eat one green for the rest of my life. So I use it often in my meals, but feel free to use cauliflower, asparagus, Brussels, whatever floats your fanny. I also added sugar snap peas to help the meal go a bit further as far as serving goes and protein. Similar to the cooking method we did in our last video, we're gonna slightly start off with a little bit of stir fry, then switch to adding a little bit of steam for our greens. This is gonna help get us that charring on the vegetables from the initial cooking process, then steaming to get that perfect texture and retain that bright green color. If you only have raw cashews, I would consider roasting them in the oven prior to getting them going in the dish. The roasted cashews add texture, but more importantly, in my opinion, a separate door to open up the flavors. If you're allergic to cashews, try using another nut you enjoy the flavor of. I could see pine nuts or even macadamians as an optimal choice. Once you add the sauce into the recipe, you may not have enough food to share as the entire household is going to flock to the kitchen. If you're soy free, outside of making adjustments for the tofu, you could also use coconut aminos to swap out the soy sauce, but the hoisin sauce also contains soy. Therefore, I would recommend replacing that with a teaspoon of tomato paste in combination with an additional tablespoon of coconut aminos for this recipe. The rice vinegar isn't so distinct that you couldn't swap it for like apple cider vinegar. And I personally love the taste of maple syrup, but agave could also work in a pinch. This full recipe is linked in the description or you could head over to my website, makeitdairyfree.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, believe in good. Peace.